Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to do a quick review and demo of the new Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral Matte Palette number two. Um, this is the all, all, all matte palette. They also have another like shimmery glittery one, but I thought, you know, all mattes, you can definitely use this all together. Um, and then the shimmery glittery one, actually, after buying this one, I think I might want to check that one out. So just to tell you a little bit about this product, you definitely get, you get 12 matte shadows, neutral shadows, and I think... This is really great for everyday, nighttime, kind of whatever you want type of shadows. These are definitely really extremely pigmented. I'm going to swatch. These, look at that. These are super pigmented on the skin, and I feel like these lighter colors will probably come out a lot lighter. On darker skin tones, darker, darker colors come out. You can definitely see them on the lighter skin tones, but either skin tone, I think they look beautiful. Sorry, I was swatching for another video. But as you can see on my hand, these... Are pigmented they feel really nice on the eye they like you kind of like you pop them in the eye and they don't disappear like some shadows that might flake away so I really I did this look for you guys I'm gonna film this you'll see this in a bit um, but I have been really reaching for this palette a lot it's $20 at Target or I think you can probably get the Sony .com. those are the places where they sell it and I was always hesitant about buying this palette because it is $20 and that's kind of like Sony Cash is kind of drugstore, a little bit more high-end drugstore. Um, so I was like, $20, really, for a palette? But if you think about it, 12 eyeshadows for $20, that's a really good deal. 12 quality eyeshadows for $20 is really good. Because I was like, okay, how much is the Maybelline, the Nudes palette? Um, that's $10. But I haven't, you know, kind of, you know, heard much praise about that palette. If anything, I've heard, you know, the pigmentation's not all there, the blending, you know, I haven't heard too much good about the quality. So for 10 extra dollars, yeah, I'm paying for quality here. I'm paying for pigmentation, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad I picked this up. The longevity, these put an eyeshadow primer underneath and these are going to last you all day. I am in love with this palette. I'll tell you some of the colors, actually, these transition shades. Either you can use this one right here or you can use this middle one right here. I think are perfect. This is one of my favorite um, crease colors. Um, I really love these two kind of, uh, this is like a nice beige, just a nice white for the under the brow highlight. I love these kind of creamy beige colors to add on the lid just, you know, for some neutralness. I am in love with this palette. I think this is definitely one that you should pick up. Uh, especially if, you know, this is great for everyday work. If you kind of someone who not, doesn't exactly want to think about which different eyeshadows to kind of mix up. Uh, from different palettes, but you have it all here. This is all you need for an everyday look. You're not missing anything. And then for those of you who want to use it for night, you can do this a great smoky eye, but then also you can use this palette and then just get your, you know, really like glittery shadow and just add that on top. I think this is perfect for anyone and everyone. So if you guys want to see this look that I put together for you guys, just keep on watching. First, I'm going to start off with priming my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot, and this is going to create a great base. Use any type of primer, and it's going to help the longevity of your eyeshadow so that they last all day long. Then I'm going to take that first white shadow right up there in the corner, and with a flat shader brush, I'm just going to use that right underneath my brow for a nice brow highlight. And then later I'm going to go in, of course, in the inner tear duct. So I really like this color as a under the brow highlight. Then I'm going to go in with that middle color. I couldn't decide between two. Both are beautiful crease colors. I just wanted more of a mauve tone. And I'm going to take that with a fluffy brush and just blend that, no rhyme or reason, just all around the eye to create a beautiful transition for the rest of the colors that I'm going to be using. Then I'm going to go in with that creamy color on the right side and pat that all over my lid. That color or the one right in the middle are both good for the lid if you want or the um, under the eyebrow highlight. But however, I wanted to go for this one um, just because I wanted a little bit more pop of the creaminess. Whereas that middle top color, if you just want a subtle kind of a look, especially maybe for work or something, you can go with that one. Either or look beautiful. 
Then I'm gonna take that bottom left color right there. It's got kind of a hint of a like, kind of reminds me of Max Swiss chocolate a little bit, which is I feel like I like it because it kind of has those red tones. So I love this for the crease. And I'm just gonna take that with a Sigma E25 brush and just blend that all over the crease. This is definitely my favorite um, type of crease color, even the lid if you want that chocolatey type of color on your eyes. And of course in between don't forget to blend blend with after each step and it'll just make it easier in the end and then here I'm gonna go ahead and take that dark dark chocolate brown color I wanted to use this instead of black just you know for not as intense of a look but if you definitely want to go for the extreme smoky eye you know you can add this and the black or just the black and I want it more of a precise placement so I'm gonna use this pencil brush kind of for an outer V you know not going too far into the eye but just a, li a little bit of drama at the edge of the eye I'm using Max Strobe Cream all over my face on top of my moisturizer just to give a little bit more of an illuminating effect to my skin. Then I'm going to go in with Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Quad. I'm going to take that green color and just dab that all over any red spots and blemishes that I might have to try and conceal them. Then I'm going to take the Lori Mercier Secret Concealer and just dab that over the green to kind of conceal that. And then I'm going to just go all around. This is a shade closest to my skin tone so that it blends in really well with my foundation later. So the foundation that I'm going to be using is the MAC Mineralize Moisture Foundation which gives you a really dewy finish. So if you are of a dry skin or a normal skin, I would definitely recommend this foundation. However, if you are more of an oily you know, type of skin, then I would maybe stay away from it because it is going to give you a dewy effect. So if you're oily, it's just going to you know, create more oils, which I know oily people maybe do not like. But for us dry people, this is a great option. Then I'm going to go back in with the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer and I'm just going to use that right underneath my eyes to kind of conceal the dark circles that I have going on. And then I'm going to go in with a brightening type of highlighter. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Highlighter and I'm just going to go in underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, forehead and just by my chin anywhere I want to highlight and I'm going to blend that out. To set anywhere I highlight it, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, which is a lighter powder, so it's not going to counteract that. And then with the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder, I'm going to set the rest of my face. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder, and I'm going to use this, you know, with my Real Techniques brush and take that bronzing powder and just use that to bronze around my face and to kind of chisel around those cheekbones and create that dimension back since I did create kind of a flat surface when you just add a foundation. Then I'm going to take this e.l.f. blush called Tickle Pink. This is a really nice dusty rose color and I'm just going to add that to my cheekbones and blend out over with my bronzer. Then I'm 
going to take a fluffy brush and blend my blush and my bronzer together. And then I'm going to take Max Soft and Gentle with the e.l.f. This is actually a blush brush, but I really like this for highlight on top of my cheekbones just to help highlight the face. Here I'm just going in with that dark, dark, deepest dark chocolate color that I use on the outer corner of my eyes with a flat shader brush just to define my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with that same kind of pencil brush and I'm going to go in with that um, kind of Swiss chocolate color I use right in my crease just to help blend that out. Then I'm going to go in with that first white shade right into my inner tear duct just to help brighten up that area and open up my eyes a little bit more. Then I'm going to take this Rimmel Scandal Eyes pencil in the color Nude and just put that right into my waterline to yet again help brighten my eyes. Then I'm going to take this NYX Mauve lip liner and the color is exactly that, Mauve. And I'm going to use that to line my lips and kind of fill them in so that whatever lipstick I'm using I'll still at least have that stain of that color. And if you're looking for any Mauve lip pencil at Ulta, this is about $4. This is definitely the one to get and it's worth a lot and I'm probably going to go through it this whole year. For my lipstick, I use a Max Modesty lipstick, which is another great mauve color, and I just put that all over my lips. And then just in the center, just to kind of brighten it, add some extra dimension, I'm using Lime Crimes Baybette. Just in the center, you can use it all around if you want to lighten this lip color. Also, real quick, I forgot to mention, for my liner, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Black Gel Liner and Red Cherry Demi Wispy Lashes. And then just to blend everything, I use the Maybelline Sensational Mascara for my top and bottom lashes. For a dewy effect, I'm using Max Fix Plus. And then to set my entire face so that it does not move, I'm using a L'Oreal Makeup Setting Spray. That is all for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to check it out. Let me know what products you would like to see next, what you would like me to review. I definitely think this is a great makeup palette, eyeshadow palette. $20 for 12 eyeshadows. I think it's worth it. So I hope you guys will check it out. Let me know what you think and make sure to subscribe so you can keep up with any upcoming videos. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.